Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on C programming. In this session, I shall be explaining you about the switch statement. So, the switch statement also comes under the category conditional and branching statement. We have in my previous video sessions, I have explained about the simple if statement, if else statement, nested if else statements and else if ladder and then the last type of the statement in the conditional and branching statement category is the switch statement. So, see normally when we have to select one from the different alternatives that are mentioned we can go with the if statements also but suppose if the number of alternatives are more than that time you can use the switch statement so any that means if the number of alternatives are too many and you need to select one from that complete list then you can go with the switch statement so the syntax of the switch statement you have to make use of the word switch followed by an expression so the expression gets evaluated and it will be a value here and that value is compared with the values that are mentioned against each of the cases. So, normally in the switch what we write is switch followed by that variable or the value of the expression okay, in the bracket. Then we use like this case value 1 and whatever is the value from this expression okay, that is compared with the value 1 that is mentioned in the case. If it gets matched then the block of statements that are there in case first case will get executed and you, we are using one statement called as break it will come out from that case and directly the control will go to the statement text here suppose if the value that is mentioned here in the expression it does not match with the value 1 then it compares with the value 2 if it matches then the block 2 statements are getting executed and then we are writing a break so that the control will come out from this and then directly it will execute the statement text like this it tries to match with the value 1 value 2 or if you have still more number of cases case value 3 case value 4 if value 1 does not match it, it, it tries to match with the value 2 that is mentioned in the second case if it does not match then it will try to compare with value 3 if it does not match it will try to compare with value 4 so to whichever value it gets matched that corresponding block, block of statements will get executed and it will come out from that case and directly it will print the statement text if any of the values does not match suppose if you are writing here 10 cases and not even one value is getting matched with the value that is mentioned here in the expression then it will print the default that means you have written few statements under the default case and those statements will get executed and then you are writing here a break and it will come out and will print the statement text and remember this expression whatever you are writing in the switch this expression can be an integer expression or characters and whatever values you are mentioning here these values are constants only and what values you are writing here those values should be unique you cannot repeat a value suppose if you are writing for one particular case a value as 8 okay once again you are writing this 8 for one more case that is not allowed so the value should be unique and here we are writing in the syntax as block 1 block 2 so this block 1 block 2 statements are actually with respect to that particular case only and so here one more most important thing is after this case keyword you have to put colon okay this is very much important you need to write the colon here so if any of this case values does not match it is going to print the default block and what exactly i wanted to tell you is this block of statements what we are writing sometimes if depending on the program if it is not required we may have zero or more statements that means we may have zero statements in a sense we are not writing any statements also we are just writing case and the value okay suppose if value is 6 we are just leaving like this we are not writing any of the statements and i am trying to give you one example and the switch statement here i am explaining with the flow diagram you can see here switch followed by the expression okay then these are the values okay the, that means these are the cases and for each of the case you are mentioning a value here so first one you will try to match okay value 1 this is the first one okay this is the first case so value 1 is written here it will try to see if the expression is equal to value 1 then block of statements will be executed block 1 and then statement x will get executed if this does not match okay then it will go to the next one expression equal to value 2 that is you are writing value 2 against the second case if it matches block 2 will be executed and you can see here after that directly it will print the statement x similarly the third case 
fourth fifth like this you may have so many depending on what program you are writing then finally you have what when there are no values that are getting matched with the expression then the default statements are getting executed and we call it as the default block and finally the statement x gets printed so only one block is getting executed here okay not all either block 1 or block 2 or block 3 or the default block so this is how the switch statement gets executed the previous program i have given this example to print the grade 80 to 100 honor 60 to 79 50 to 59 40 to 49 0 the same logic uh, the same program i am writing here for the switch statement but since now for the switch we have to use an expression now you look here what i am doing is i am writing the keyword switch and then followed by index index here is what a variable it can be an expression that gets evaluated to a value or it can be a variable if it is a variable here i am using the variable index so what is the value of this variable the value of this variable we are writing here index index equal to marks divided by 10 this is how you need to find out the value for index so marks is from the range of from the range 0 to 100 whatever is the marks you divide by 100 so whatever number you get here you are writing that as the index so that index number is getting matched with the values that are mentioned here in the cases here what values what index values we are giving is if the marks are 100 then index value is 10 marks are between 9 to 19 90 to 99 index is 9 80 to 89 8 70 to 79 7 60 to 69 6 50 to 59 5 40 to 49 4 giving the grade you are writing that 80 to 100 gets the grade as honors okay 80 to 100 means this 80 to 89 also will come and 90 to 99 these two rows are applicable for the honors honors grade so these two will print it in and even the 100 okay these three if you look here 80 to 100 we are giving as the honors grade so when you see this range 80 to 90 90 to 99 and 100 also that means these three rows are applicable for the honors grade but we are writing case for the 100 case for the 90 to 99 case for 80 to 89 for all these three cases the honors only has to get printed so how we are going to take care in the switch is we'll write here case okay index value we are writing as 10 9 and 8 so for all these 8 9 10 this range of marks are applicable 80 to 89 90 to 99 and 100 but since we have to give the grade honors only for all these three cases you can write only once the statements for this one grade case 8 okay that means this is empty statement that means zero statements zero statements the above two cases we are not writing any statements even though we are not writing whatever we write here exactly below this values okay 10 9 8 whatever statements you write here those statements are applicable even for the case 9 and case 10 so this is why i have taken this example just i wanted to show that a case statement followed by a value may have zero statements also similarly we have case 7 in here you have not written any statements the next case okay has got what the statement as first division so this is also applicable to grade 7 and why we have written grade 7 why we have not written any statements for grade 7 because if you see here 7 and 6 you look here 6 is what 60 to 69 7 is 70 to 79 but completely 60 to 79 this is for your first division okay so here we have complete range of how many we have a set we have a total of 20 marks here 60 to 79 means totally we have what 20 marks so 10 10 are splitted here in 6 under index 6 and in, under index 7 so that means these two rows are applicable for the grade 6 only that is why we are not writing here the any statements for case 7 we are writing directly first division we are writing the statements only for the value 6 okay it is applicable to 7 also the next comes 5 so if any point of time the marks entered by the user is 50 to 59 fine so the index value will be what the index will be 5 in this case if it is 5 if the index value is 5 it will try to match with all the cases that are there 5s yes, it matches here and it will print what the value as second division so like this whatever value you get from this expression or variable that value is getting compared with the values that are mentioned against each of the cases 
so whenever there is a match the corresponding statements are executed it will come it will come out and finally it will print the grade here if any of the values that are mentioned here against each of the cases does not match with this index or the expression then it will print what the default grade and the default is what fail that so we are mentioning up till uh, index value as 4 only because we know that anything up below this okay below 40 okay below 40 is what 0 to 39 if any marks entered by the user is from 0 to 39 it will try to what directly go to the default block because it is not finding a match then it will print the corresponding statement written under the default block and that is the grade fail so that gets printed then it will come out and it will print the grade here so in every case whatever whenever it executes the statements it comes out and print the grade so this is how the switch statement in c programming works hope you find this session useful if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and